What's up guys and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you that how to easily create or write resource based policy uh, without actually writing it from scratch right. So uh, we can write resource based policy for the resources like S3 bucket, AWS Lambda and, and so on right. So apart from resource based policy there are other type of policy like identity based policy uh, which is uh, being uh, written for uh, IAM roles right. Then there is ACL that is access control list uh, which is again uh, similar to resource based policy. Then we have permission boundaries, organization SAP and session policies. So these are uh, the uh, different types of uh, policy right. So here uh, we will write the policy for the resource. Uh, so when I say resource, it's, it's going to be an S3 bucket, right? So we are going to write the policy for S3 bucket uh, and that is bucket policy, right? So I have this uh, bucket and I will go to permissions and here I have bucket policy, right? So here um, I'm going to uh, write the policy for this bucket. Uh, so to say the uh, resource based policy right so for example uh, i have my site running at the technology updates.com so that is this one right and i want to uh, keep the images in the s3 bucket right so for example i will open this first article here So I have this uh, this image right so so I want to uh, keep these images in the S3 bucket and load these images via uh, S3 bucket or the object URL right. So um, yeah, we can do that easily right uh, so all, all we need to go ahead and upload the image here uh, made and make this bucket public uh, and we have the object URL and we can directly load that URL I mean load that image using that URL uh, with that site right. <coughs> so uh, doing so uh, will run into an issue of hot linking right. So and, and we don't want to pay for anyone else using that image URL or the image resources right on their site. So hence uh, we want to avoid that situation so we want to restrict the access to the specific HTTP referrer right so that uh, no one else can uh, access that uh, URL and uh, load the images and right and we don't end up paying for him loading that image image right so that can be achieved by a bucket policy it might seem complex but it's not so let's have a look so now we are here in the bucket policy so we have this wonderful tool here so we will click on this policy generator right so uh, this tool will help us uh, defining the policy uh, and the condition that we want to achieve right so the step one is the select policy type so here we are going to select policy for s3 bucket right so you can also create other type of policy that is mentioned here that is SQS, VPC, IAM, IAM is again an identity based policy right. So we will select S3 bucket policy here. Now what we want to do we want to allow. So for example I want to allow the technology updates.com to access that image right. So I will say effect as allow. Now we have principle. So we can use principal element to mention probably an IAM user right so to allow that user or not then uh, we can mention the federated user then IAM role so it's going to be an AR in here then AWS account or any AWS services uh, for example lambda then it will become lambda.amazonaws.com right so so that's how uh, we can define uh, AWS services itself right or uh, any other principal entity uh, that we want to allow or deny access to this resource right. So in this case I am going to uh, put a star here or the asterisk here right. So if you want to uh, mention service so for example lambda then we will say lambda dot 
amazon aws.com and we can even uh, mention multiple entities uh, separated by comma right so here i am going to put this asterisk uh, that is star so everything right <coughs> so ideally it's not a good idea to uh, put uh, star so because it will allow all the resources all the users it's kind of public right so everyone can access this until and unless your bucket is not public so within the aws environment everyone every resource every user can access this right but we are going to put the condition here so then we have aws services so that's going to be s3 of course right and there is action so now i want to uh, give permission to read the object from this bucket right so i'll say uh, get object yes and now followed by the arn so what will be arn so that's going to be our bucket arn so i will replace bucket name with my bucket name uh, that is so let me copy it from here recognit right and forward slash and asterisk or star right so forward slash asterisk will say uh, all the resources or i mean all the directories all the files uh, within this bucket right so now uh, we want to you access only to the technology updates.com right so so if the http referrer is the technology updates.com that is on uh, this domain then only um, it should be able to uh, load the image else it should throw access to deny that right so we will say uh, add condition so that's why that's optional it's not compulsory right so now uh, we'll put the condition for string like right string like so key is going to be a uh, referrer right as i said http referrer so where is it here it is right http referrer. sorry aws referrer right now within the value uh, i will put things like https www dot the technology updates dot com right for slash asterisk it means all the resources that is coming from or all the requests that is coming from the technology updates dot com no matter which URL uh, it is right followed by this for slash and then we can uh, put multiple right so it should be separated by comma so here I will say only sorry only the technology of com without www right and likewise uh, we can put uh, certain strings so now I have uh, put it for https in case if the uh, domain is on http so we need to mention that right and then once it is done I will say add condition right and now once all the things uh, I mean all the configuration is done and then we will say add statement right now uh, we also want to uh, put the deny effect right so right now we are kept allow now we also want to deny that uh, no one except uh, the technology of updates.com should be able to access right so this condition uh, will work right but just to show you an example uh, we will do one for deny right deny to whom ashtray that's going to be our s3 bucket right so we'll select um, maybe get object again so here it is right arn remains same oops so let me copy the bucket arn for slash ashtray right and I will say uh, add condition again probably so here in the condition I will say string not like right so here it is string not like 
and then again AWS wrapper right and I will uh, put this that if string is not like or the AWS wrapper or, or the HTTP wrapper is not like the technology updates.com right so So this condition is uh, pretty straightforward, right? String like and string not like. If it's a not like uh, this, like the technology updates.com, then it should deny access to get object. Yeah. And we'll say uh, add condition and we'll say add state, right? Now we have uh, two statement, one is allow and one is deny, right? Now we will say generate policy. So here is our policy, right? Pretty straightforward. So what we need to do is all we need to uh, copy this, come back to S3 management console, paste it here, right, and save it. So that easy it was, right. So right now it's throwing me an access denied, right, because um, I'm not allowed, uh, I mean I'm not given the permission to uh, update this policy, right, since it, it's, it's giving the public access, right, so I need to um, change this uh, public settings right so then only i will be able i will be able to update this policy right so so that's how uh, you can uh, create the bucket policy right so now i will show you an example uh, that how these things work right so now i i am on the technology updates.com right so now I, I want to open this image and see right so i will say open image in new tab right and it will show me the image successfully right so this is the uh, url as you can see s3 bucket object URL right now if I copy this URL and open a new tab and load directly and try to load directly from this URL right load try to load the object and and it will say uh, access denied right so uh, no one can uh, access this object via this URL until unless its referrer is the technology updates.com right so, so that's how it, it works and that's how we can avoid hot linking of the image, right? So now it's it's throwing access denied. So if I again uh, open this image from this uh, HTTP wrapper, that is the technology updates.com, then it will show me the image, right? So um, that's easy is to create resource based policy, right? So we had wrote nothing from scratch, all we uh, did some configuration right and we have our policy generated here right so uh, right now I have uh, generated two statements that is one for uh, allow and another for deny so you can like uh, generate uh, multiple statements uh, based upon your requirement right using this tool so I'll uh, put the link of this tool in the description right or you can always go to bucket policy and click on policy generator and it will redirect you to this tool right so well uh, that's it for now so as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time